Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this week's video. So I went back to class this week. Um, ECT was on Monday. ECT went well. I go back in four weeks. Um, and then if I do well at the next visit, we might look at um, spacing it out a little bit more. Um, but I didn't want to push my luck with spacing it out plus starting school at the same, um, the same time. So we'll see how we're doing then. Um, classes in person, so I went Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I was exhausted. It wore me out. Um, I mean, like, I did not want to get up Thursday and Friday morning. Like, I wanted to stay in bed, but I managed to get up. I got home, and I decided that this morning I was going to, I turned off all my alarms, and I used my eye mask so that it would stay dark and I was going to sleep as late as I wanted to. I woke up an hour earlier than normal. So, go figure. Um, my body likes to play tricks. But anyway, so I got up. I did pretty good. Uh, I've got all my weekly chores are done. I got my laundry done yesterday. I started it Thursday night and then finished it yesterday. And I actually finished the last the last little bit of it. The last load was on the rinse cycle when I had to leave to go to, go to school. So it got to sit in the washer until I got home, but it's fine. And then everything is put up and I've still got a little bit left drying, but it's all pretty good. Swept and mopped, everything's fine. Excuse me. Oh, and of course, it always goes as soon as I sweep and mop, then the cats are gonna spill something. So we've got that taken care of. Um, I have been watching all my movies. Um, I am, my list has, is growing of ones that I have seen that I have on my um, Google Drive. So these aren't ones that I have to do, like go to Netflix or anything. But I have recently went through the Bring It On series. You know, I, I like watching like cheerleader routines gymnastics, synchronized <laughs> dancing, things like that, you know, so the Bring It On series was fun. Um, and then I watched Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the, the first one and the second one, and Pet Cemetery. I hadn't watched that in forever. So I watched Pet Cemetery 1. I had never seen Pet Cemetery 2, so I watched that one, and then I watched the, two, the 2019 reboot. And I'm just going to say that the first Pet Cemetery was better than the reboot. But, you know. And I just got done watching the Night at the Museum series. So I watched all three of those today. So they were cute. Um, I don't know what I'm going to watch next. I let the random number generator pick that one for me. But anyway, I got the... The frames came in for the the diamond painting and I went to go put the diamond painting in the frame and then noticed that somehow it got messed up during this last week or so and some of the little driving the diamond bits are missing and I've already taken the leftover uh, pieces that what they call the drills and I always when I'm done with the project I stick them in there just so I have so I don't know it you know, I could dig through and I could figure out what color you know whatnot but it would be too much of a hassle and I have a ton of those so I just went ahead and threw it in the trash and I but I have the frames ready for the um, next ones that I finish but instead of starting a new project I started a new diamond painting project for my Friday uh, Friday project I started the um, Harry Potter perler beads thing so I can't hold it up and show you because if I hold it up then all the, the little plastic beads fall off I had it very carefully in one corner of the room covered up where hopefully the cats can't knock it up knock it out and mess it up and it'll be ready for me for next Friday um, so that was kind of fun. It, although I do have to, I can't sit back on the couch and do it because I can't see see well enough. So I have to sit up, and so my back 
it was hurt me by the end of last night. Um, but, you know, it's just once a week, so it's fine. And then I got new scrunchies. These are actually the right size. So there's 120 in here. So that should last me for a while. I took the, um, the ones that I already had done, I took them to school and... I mean, well, you know, I took, them to, I took them to ECT first, and I gave to, you know, all the nurses. I mean, nurses that I had never seen before were coming in to get them, because I had told the nurse, you know, that whoever started my IV to, you know, to let them know, you know, come get scrunchies. And then, um, I thought that we, I had given them all out, um, because I don't remember packing them in my bag. I just know that at some point Monday evening, I found what the, the left, what was left of the scrunchies, which I got rid of probably about half of them. But it was funny because I was more spacey Monday after ECT Monday than I have been since probably I first started. Like I know that before ECT, like a couple of, in the couple of days before ECT, I bought in one of my last grocery orders, I had two bottles of lime of lime Gerato soda this is mandarin but I have two I had two bottles of the lime and I don't know what happened to them I don't know if I drank them if I lost them and they're just somewhere in my house that I will find them eventually or if my sister drank them which you know I don't care if she drank them I just I just want to know what happened to them so that's been you know I've been a little fuzzy this week from ECT but it's fine but I did find the Lip with scrunchies that the nurses didn't claim that I did bring home. So I took those to school on Tuesday and gave them to the instructors like here, you know, you can have them hand them out to people, you know, whatnot. You know, I obviously don't need scrunchies, but you know, I need something to do with the arm. And I have made one scrunchie. I, I made one and a half. I've got one that's almost done. But so this one is, um, this is yarn that I got from Wish. I don't, I think I have any easily that I can get to. Um, that's not the scrunchy bag. This is okay. It's this brand of yarn. I got it from Wish, and it would have been like one of those, you know, either it was free and I paid for shipping, or it was a dollar and I paid for shipping. But it, you know, really cheap. And it's like twenty-five gram um, skeins, little things. The yarn, this yarn is always really, really soft. So, but I've got fish of black scrunchie. And where is my, is my green one that I am working on? I'm almost halfway through the third round and then it'll be done. So, that I work on just whenever um like if i uh don't you know have time to get started and get really involved in another project and or i just want something no brainer that i bought the scrunchie so i got that um i've been working on the junk blanket so I'm making some progress with it uh, but I just alternate between if I'm going to work on the scrunchies or if I'm going to work on that, you know, when I'm like on, um, the days that, you know, that I don't have and I already like Tuesdays and Thursdays were, um, study days. And now that I, you know, when I'm done, like, but I'm done with my online course, which by the way, I did get approved for financial aid. So I started the second, um, Google online course started it Thursday so I do those on Thursdays and then when I finish with those then I work on scrunchies or the blanket or whatnot so but there's that um, the <sighs> Sunday project is the the filet bag and I opened it to start it and realized that they have three patterns to pick from they printed and then the graph that I can print you know I could make my own and I thought about making my own, designing my own, but then I just decided I'm gonna go with the chevron. 
and started working on that. Um, actually, I was quite a further along, and then I frogged quite a bit of it because what I don't like is, and, and I know that like 99% of people are not going to notice this unless I point it out, and especially once I start using the bag, no one's going to pay attention to it. There is a seam, and it's just the way that it is. You can't get you can't get around having that seam there, and it frustrates me. But I was almost to the point of starting the pattern, and at first, and I decided I was going to frog it and try and make it without the that little bit of a seam that I know that pretty much I'm the only one that's going to notice it. But you know. I can't get around it. It's there. So, we're working on that. That's the project that I will work on tomorrow. My Monday project is doing well. Um, I finished the first block. Because there's we always do two of each block. And I have started on the second one. I just can't show you because it's our special project I'm doing with Sabrina and we keep that a secret until we're done. So that one, um, my Saturday project is the, this, and we're, I'm up to working, you know, didn't the yoke pattern that, which I kind of like, um, and I am now needing to use all three of, or use three of these. I have done 92 rows, and I think I go to 126, and I'm, I've got 93 stitches, and I do increases until I get to 95 stitches, so the increase is, you, um, the first, you, you'll increase on the first and last stitch every six rows, so I have one more time that I will do an increase, and then it's just follow the pattern until it's long enough. So I am making progress on that. And um, so well, my sister likes her her um her cardigan. I will I have a picture of her with that. I will add that on the end of this video. Um so Mondays this is a Sabrina project. Tuesday was the Google courses, but now I'm doing that on Thursday. Shut up, phone. Wednesday, oh, Wednesday is the scarf. Here's what I found. Shut up, Google. We are at, I think I've got eight more inches to go. So I very well may finish it on Wednesday. Actually, I probably won't because this Wednesday I have a dentist appointment before school and I'm not going to I don't know I don't know yet that I will take if I will take this project with me Wednesday or if I will take the, the blue knit blanket that I usually take because I can do this without constantly looking at the pattern so I might take it with me but if I take it with me then I will most likely be able to finish it on Wednesday and then I can pick my stitch for the the October scarf for the November scarf. I'm almost done with my my year's worth of scarves, and I'm not even into fall yet. So, but I have been working on this quite a bit. So, and I'm mad because my soda exploded the other day, and so now I it'll wash out. It's just it frustrates me every time I see it until I can wash it. So that's making progress. So Wednesday is the, is the scarf. Thursday is now the, the Google courses. Friday is the, right now is the Pearl Bead project. And, and Saturday is the knit sweater. Sunday is the crochet bag. And Tuesday, since, you know, Tuesday was the Google course, but now it's not. It's on, it's on Thursday. And so I don't have, you know, I don't have anything to do on Tuesdays. So I am going to... I haven't decided if I want to do this bag. Or if I want to do this bag. Uh, so... 
I'll have to figure that one out. I'll flip a quarter or something. But I'm going to do that with this yarn. So that will be the new 2J, 2, 2J, Tuesday project. So, but other than that, things are going well. Um, hopefully going to try and finish the, all of the coursework for my project, for my program this school year, this, you know, which is the 20, the 21, 22 school year, because I can't use federal financial aid next school year. Now they, there are other, um, financial aid, like they have scholarships, they have other grant, you know, different things that I can apply for that I might be able to, to get to help. So if I need to, um, but I'm still going to do my best to get finished this year. And it was funny because I sat down with the instructor Friday and we were going over, I thought we were going over the two week contract because it's, it's self paced learning. So you're given a contract and said, okay, you know, you've got to get this much done, you know, in this nine weeks period. But then they do every two weeks, they do little check out things. I thought we were sitting down and she was giving me the two weeks program and she's like, okay, well, we're going to do, you know, countings, you know, this, you know, this chapter and this chapter and this chapter and this chapter. And then you have the bank reconciliation thing and then you have Microsoft Word. And I'm like, okay, well, one of those is actually done. You just got to grade it. And it just didn't get graded. From, it was done last term. It just, she didn't, we're supposed to sign an old work, uh, sign in sheet every time we take a test, but there we, we were doing distance learning last term and I took the chapter 12 test at home so I couldn't sign the test sheet. So she didn't catch that it was finished. So I didn't get graded last term, which is fine. That just means that I get a little bit easy because I can, the um, hours that I have to, was supposed to do, you know, that I'm assigned to do for chapter 12, they're already done. So, yay. Um, and I'm reviewing chapter 13, doing all the, the, you know, the end of the chapter review stuff, and then I'll probably take the test. I want to try and take the test by Wednesday of next week. Um, but... It's going to be, I've got a bit, kind of a busy week coming up. Um, Monday is easy, Tuesday's easy. Wednesday, I have a dentist appointment in the morning. And Thursday, I have therapy in the morning. And then, so both of those is like I get up and I leave early in the morning and then I come home until in the evening. But I will make it through. We are, um... I did take my anxiety medicine this past week, and I know that probably contributed to making me tired. But I'm going to have it with me this next week, but I'm not going to take it unless I absolutely need it. So, we'll see how we're doing. Um, and, you know, things should be fine. I do need to take a refresher course on the 10 key, on a lot of the, um, especially on the settings. So I'll have to look and see what, which specific tin key that we have at school. And I'll just look up the um, owner's manual and go through it. Because that's what I get for not messing with that over the summer break. But anyway, things are going pretty good. Um, I'm just going to be adjusting to school and taking care of myself and doing pretty good. And trying to lay off on the salt and vinegar chips because, oh my god, they're so good. But they have pickled my mouth so much. So, but anyway, that is what I've got for tonight. And I guess I will see you guys next week.